Today is cruise day. We are going to be boarding the Quantum of the Seas. It's a Royal Caribbean ship. Uh, at, I think our boarding time is 12 o'clock and Nan and Pop and Kylie and Scott's and Kiara's is at 12.30. So we're going to check out of the hotel, catch a minibus and head on our way. All right, so we're just putting our ship labels on the bags. We've um, printed them off, folded them. You just use a bit of sticky tape and you whack it on the handle. Brisbane minibus charter has arrived. We're loading up the bags into the minibus. This was a company that mum found online. Positive experience all around yeah, so, it's far. Been really good so far. All right, so this is the uh, bus we're getting into. Our fourth mode of transport for this trip. The first one was a car, then we went on a plane, then we went on a bus, and now we're on a mini bus. Now we're golden orb spider hunting. They are huge and you can see them in the trees from inside the minibus. The webs were like a metre plus. I saw one that was connected to the power lines down to a bush. It's just so weird. And then you see the big mum spider in the middle. Females are larger than the males, but if they do bite you, they're not poisonous, but they will hurt. time they're boarding everybody it's the fastest bag drop we've ever done you roll it in and it's gone no time to like check your padlock step number one was bag drop done step number two check in we head to departures and check in <laughs> okay. mum's got all the paperwork mum is misorganized she's ripping her catch on the roundabout backpack you can buy these from Redbubble. I think there's a link in our description. <laughs> so this is the check-in building. You get sent to a little area and you have a little one-on-one -on -one check in. Go through security check-in. Alright, so we made it through security. Alright, we're making our way up the gangway. Oh, in we go. Nice entranceway. It looks nice. It does. As we just got on Paris, yeah. what did he say we have to do? Go to our master station. Right, and he said here. something about C3. Which is up here. So we just went and did our master station at C3. We're going to head to the buffet now. Was it called the Windjammer? I think it was called the Windjammer on level 14. Oh, this is the Bionic Bar. This ship is just yeah. crazy huge like you can already tell it's different to what we've been on before the party lights on the stairs the music this nice little shopping and cafe area yeah Lovely. everything's big it does look like a shopping mall wow this is going to be so much fun yeah look at the party lights yeah, look, i know you said party lights but they're yeah there. and they're like moving I'm so glad we have five nights on this because in two nights you just wouldn't like it would be so stressful yeah, trying to, trying to see everything. There's a little map diagram. So we're heading to the aft. Windjammer marketplace, deck 14. Big shopping. Sorry, big buffet. And everything is so huge. So huge. Oh my gosh. Look at that! Wow, they're all open. This is going to be so fun. We've just come out on deck 14. So this is the Windjammer Buffet. Lunch is 11 a.m. till 3.30. Dinner was 5.30 to 8.30. The biggest struggle for this cruise is probably going to be getting enough table space for nine people. So we've managed to get two tables right next to each other at the very back of the buffet. So in the 
buffet area. They've got some drinks, they've got some juices, lemon lime, fruit punch, ice and water. Okay, so nothing. Ice. Let's try the Nestle Vitality Fruit Punch. Oh, this is interesting. Um, I might just do half. Just yeah, so just sound for it. Do we have up here? Oh, no, no, no pop All right, kids corner. Should we skip past that for now? Yeah. Just to get ourselves established. You know what established? Looks like is the fact that they've got a vegetarian flavor. Yes, how good is that? Very special. International flavors. Favorites. So Sandwiches. International. Oh, there's Kylie and Kiara. In your happy place at the vegetarian the stand. What do we got? What do we got? Steamed rice. Rice? Too crazy because I know there's so much to try. Potato and green pea curry. And it's so good because I don't even have to think about that. Oh, is that yes. what it is? Yes. Three bean stew. Oh, this is all perfect for me. This is your favourite. This is what this you is eat all the thing. time. Garlic roasted potato wedges. Grilled corn. Sauteed carrots. Oh. Look out, we've got the international flavours, vegetable paella, rice, baked pasta with ham and vegetables in white sauce, mixed seafood and chicken rice. There's also a sandwich bar full of sandwiches. Now we have the fresh from the garden section full of fruits. At least, um, you know, if you're a picky eater, there's something for absolutely everyone. Look how cute they look. All right, so this is my first little plate of goodies. Mum's, I don't know why the camera gets going blurry. Very nice vegetarian plate. I got the curry, plate. but it was really hot. Oh, was <laughs> like, it? Too spicy too for me. Hot. All right, we've just finished up our little buffet uh, snacky lunch as soon as we've got on board. That was the first thing we hit was the, the restaurant. Um, I think the plan now is we're going to try and look at our dining reservations and our show theatre reservations. Once we've done that, we'll just do a little bit of a, a tour and explore the ship. All right, the gang is moving. We're going to head out to the pool deck. All right, out to the pool deck. So start there's your belly swap at Performance Arena. Ooh. All right, found the little ice cream cone section. We get a little goodie. So they've also got an indoor pool as well, which is going to be handy on this trip, I reckon, because I think it's going to be raining a little bit. So uh, at least there'll be the opportunity to come in here all undercover probably a little bit warmer. All right, we've just jumped into our cabin on Quantum of the Seas. This is room 211 on deck 11. We have a locked door. So I'm assuming that this is the interconnecting door that if you had the cabin next door, you'd be able to jump in and out. So in here, you've got a shower, shower cubicle. It's nice and rounded, which kind of maximizes that space. So it's causing a little bit of chaos out in the corridor. Uh, they've dropped off people's bags along the corridor, but they haven't been placed at the front of each door. So everyone's just walking up and down trying to find their suitcases. That's probably the most disorganized bag drop we've seen um, in terms of placing bags along the corridor. Some of the guests we're traveling with are right down the other end of the ship and they found their bags down the opposite end of the ship. So hopefully they sort out that out in the corridors and currently my bag is missing we walked past it on the way up and i was guessing it was someone else's because it wasn't out the front of our stateroom door then when we realized that the bags weren't at stateroom doors i went back to go find it and it's not there so we'll have to go sort out where that one's gone all right let's continue through our stateroom so we've got the large bed this could be a queen perhaps a king it does look very large uh, with four pillows there. As we continue along, we've got the desk. So here we've got two American PowerPoints, two USBs, and a European spot. 
And this one says, Dear Lily. Oh, because I've got the internet package. Um, information left on the table about the internet package. So the mini fridge is underneath in the table here. It's got a little lock feature as well. Here we've got some more information and a dirty drawer full of chocolate and bugs. <laughs> another drawer and another drawer. This is our virtual balcony. So here we have imagery of what is going on outside, but it's not real. So this is a virtual wall. We do have a interior cabin. Oh look, you can see a little truck going by up here. <laughs> um, so it gives you a little look into the outside world. Here is our couch. Now I'm not sure if this gets folded out to make a double, Otherwise, I'm going to be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> All right, let's look in some of the cupboards. I'm a bit concerned with the storage space. There doesn't seem to be too much hanging space for our formal dresses. And I think it's going to be quite similar on this side as well. Let's have a look. Oh, thank goodness. This is a lot of hanging space. Um, and you can also pop some stuff in there. On one side of the bed, you have another US PowerPoint and a light. And in, on the other side of the bed, you have a telephone. So there you go. That was our stateroom tour of our virtual balcony interior room on the Quantum of the Seas. All right, so we're just going to go look for my suitcase. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I thought I walked past it the first time. I thought I did too. I thought all four were together. Let's go find it. Okay, no luck finding it yet. We've done one lap um, of our hallway. So we're going to go into like the next section and just check if someone's like wheeled it down the, down the hallway. I'm sure it will be here. Someone's probably just grabbed it and realised, oh, not mine. Put that back out in the corridor. This is the guess the statue weight competition. So you've got to guess the weight of the statue. Now Mum and Paris are just heading down to the casino. Check that out, have a little looky. So this is the casino. They've got different game tables as well as slot machines. Looks quite large. As we walk through, I think it wraps around the corner. Oh, there's Kylie, Scott and Kiara. What's the odds of that? Out of this massive ship, we both end up in the casino. Yeah, so it's quite a big area. Pirate ships. Hello. All right, so now we've come past the Grande restaurant. Let's go in and have a little look. My favorite part of uh, getting on the ship is when everything's open, you can just come in and have a look. Restaurant. Gold and white theme. Alright, so this is the American Icon Grill. A little less uh, fancy decor than the other dining rooms. So this is the Silk Restaurant. It has a strong red theme. Really large tables. All right, so now we're standing at the back of the ship. You can actually see the Quantum of the Seas sign. This area that we are in is called 270. So it's like a, oh look, you can see Mum and Paris up the very top there. It's a performance space. I think this is where we're going to be watching Star Water. They've got a bar. They've got a cafe, lots of various uh, seating options, mm, lots of stage areas, very cool space. Got the cafe at 270. Looks like you can get some salads, maybe some bakery goods. 
What do we got in here? So Kylie got the coffee package. She gets 15 specialty coffees and she just gives this to them and they stamp it off. And the rest of us got the soda package so we can go along to the soda fill up station uh, when we see them. Here's Paris on her Wonderland cruise seat. the Royal Theatre. Very high roofs, you get really beautiful big space. You've got the stage down the bottom. I reckon like one of the mid-levels would be best to view because you're quite high up here, but we'll just have to check it out. Now we've come out here at Jake 15 to look at the rock climbing. It's right next to this gigantic pink statue, which Scott just walked out from in between. Instructor's giving a demo on how to fly. That's so cool. All right, we've just come inside. We've got um, hot dogs to the right. Do they do anything other than hot dogs? <laughs> we've got archery going on in here. Bit of archery competition. We've got bumper cars on standby for later at 5.30. Oh, so day two. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, good news. I've just come back to the room to drop off some stuff and um, my bag's here. So that's a really good start. All right, so the most challenging task of boarding the Quantum uh, cruise ship is organising your soda beverage can. So we had the beverage soda package, uh, which meant you had a souvenir cup. You have to go line up at a bar to get that. And of course, every bar is packed. So from a few bar hopping, we finally got one that had the cups um, and then you have to find a beverage station to fill up your cup with soda. Now the Windjammer is closed for the minute while they prepare for their dinner menu. So while we were waiting, we're trying to find a bar to fill up our cups. We've come down to 270. They are now closing, ready for the nighttime show. So everyone's leaving out of there. So we're gonna try our fourth spot um, and head and find Scott and Pop who are at something in Horn. Harp and Horn? Yes. Some, something like that. 
and then we'll go and fill up ours at the next bar. And when we got them at the bar, we asked them if they could fill up them, but it seemed to... Yeah, they said you have to unpackage it yourself and then hand it back to them. So... And it was very busy. It was very was, busy. You kind of sent us on to someone else. Yeah. All right, we're at Vintages. Let's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that is so scary. Wow, it's one of those look down windows. Oh, that is so scary. Wow. So, hi. Uh, oh, that is amazing. Wow, well, it didn't take you long to get on there, Paris. Yeah. You just went straight on and started walking around. Oh, yes, go Kylie. Let's go. Oh, mum's oh. even doing it. So this is the 12 to 17 year olds of the area. Wow. Can't see in there. Open house till 4, evening session 8 till late. So we've just sailed away from the dock, we've come out to the deck, Paris has just joined us.